that gives the Buccos the lead, seven to six. Unbelievable. Can't make this stuff up, Brownie. This is awesome. Three, one count. We, we initially thought that Palacios might not even be available to hit today. Wow. And here he comes in one of the biggest spots of the game. Gets himself into a hitter's count, 3-1. And as the words were coming out of my mouth oh. for a fastball middle in, he does, and he does not miss it. His seventh hit as a pinch hitter this season. One of the best pinch hitters in baseball. His first career pinch hit home run. And this from a guy who played in just 13 games as a Blue Jay two years ago. The team that drafted him out of Auburn last year played in 29 games with the Nationals. And this year, some time in the minor leagues, a couple of trips down to AAA Indianapolis. Another look at the pinch hit home run by Joshua Palacios. He's got, mm. he's got the St. Louis Cardinals, Cardinals number, I can tell you that. This crowd of over 38,000 is stunned. Another look. Pinch hit two run homer. And Rodriguez now over toward the foul line. Career home run number seven. Joshua Palacios over the bullpen. Now, Neil, you know, as this ball driven toward right field and over is Walker, and he makes the catch. That was dicey. We'll bring up Jack Sawinski, his first plate appearance. Nice at bat by Andy right here. Jordan Walker does a good job of running this ball down. And Neil, you know how tough it is to pinch hit yep. in baseball, especially for a, a guy that barely has his feet wet in the big leagues. Well, that's and that's his first swing of, of the of the game, yeah. right? I mean, he takes three straight balls. He takes a, a three-one uh, fastball for a strike. You don't really know. That's the biggest thing with pinch hitting is you don't. Some days you, you're, you're, you're a little sluggish. Some days you feel better and you're a little more amped up. Sometimes you don't even know how you feel until you actually swing the bat in the game. I mean, you can swing as much as you want in the cage, but nothing trumps being in the batter's box. So for him to step up and, and do that is, is just it's so impressive and is, is a tip of the cap to him for being prepared for that moment. He could easily come out of his shoes to, uh, on that swing right there and fouled it off or, or swung through it. It was a controlled, aggressive swing, and it paid dividends to this point for the Pirates. Another pitching change. 